Okay, I'm talking to Bruce Edmonds. Um, Bruce, you just gave a very interesting talk at this ESSA Summer School. I wonder, first of all, if you could just introduce yourself and your institution and the role that you play there. I'm Bruce Edmonds. I'm the director for the Centre for Policy Modelling, which is a research unit within the Manchester Metropolitan Business School. And I wonder, could you just give a brief uh, overview of the talk that you just gave? Oh, well, um, I was basically trying to highlight the difficulties in doing social simulation, some of the fundamental um, issues that anyone has to face when they're thinking about a social simulation and trying to get people to think about what they're doing and decide what they're doing a little bit more accurately. Okay. And yeah, agent-based modelling and social simulation is still you know, quite a minority sport. Now, I know that you've been involved in this for, for many years. So I mean, could you tell me, like, you know, from your perspective, how you actually how you began work in agent-based modelling, how, how you got into it? <clears throat> well, I just went um, for a job with Scott Moss and um, I'd already always been inter interested in social phenomena. I'd done youth work before and stuff like that. Um, and I'd always been playing with computers and, and fiddling around with computers. It just seemed a natural thing to, me, to do. And me and Scott just started doing what we thought was sensible before we met anyone like Nigel, or we knew it was called agents, or we knew it was called social simulation, just what was sensible, and that was agent-based modelling. Okay. Now, I know that you work on a multitude of problems and ideas at any given time, but if I was to be uh, cheeky and ask you to pick one idea or problem that you're currently thinking about and you currently think is interesting, um, even with agent-based modelling or, or outside that area, what would, you, what would you say? Well, one of the things I'm interested in, I'm interested in several, of course, um, but is this way of trying to bring all this wealth of qualitative observational data into simulation so it can be used as well as the quantitative. So maybe some method of transparently and systematically translating uh, between narratives, text, texts, conversations, into rules that you might put into a simulation. So it then can be... Um, run and compared against numerical results. So in a sense, you're integrating qualitative and quantitative approaches. Okay. Um, now, in your sort of career, if you could select, another, another cheeky question, if you could select one, mention one formative book, paper, lecture, what would that be? Um, I think Herbert Simon's uh, Architecture of Complexity, because he was actually trying to think about the problem in that book, which is quite old now, um, and how you decompose problems into sub-problems and what might make it possible scientifically to understand it and what would make it impossible. So he was thinking about these broad questions, and that was very influential. Okay, now as the director for the Centre for Policy Modelling, um, I wonder if you could give what you consider to be one major policy application area that you see a role for agent-based modelling uh, going forward in, into the future. Well, one of them, I think, is trying to model uh, the spread of low-level criminal rackets and cons. So what often happens is some new way around a system, a way of getting money out of a cash machine, a way of robbing a particular kind of BMW is discovered, and then other criminals you know, copy it across the criminal networks, across their social networks. And it seems to me that there might be enough data, both qualitative and quantitative, to have a really good go at modelling that. And if, you under if we understood a bit how these things spread, it might really help in trying to uh, manage it or notice them. Just kind of applying a kind of evolutionary approach to the, to the spread of criminal behaviour. Well, that, that's Edmund Chateau's paper. Is you it? can go and read that one, oh, yes. <laughs> okay. So anyway, uh, thanks for answering these questions and thanks for a, a very interesting talk.